that, that that's involved with the food which the European Union are forcing on us. Uh, the types of yeah, chemicals. well, Americans are mostly forcing it, you know, the American companies, uh, but uh, with, with gene-modified uh, food and, and things like that. And we do not know and nobody knows what's going to happen because they experiment on long range. And we don't know what happens in a year or 20 years. Just like we don't know what happens, except we, we start knowing now, what happens with mobile phones in 20 years. You know, they cause brain tumors and blindness and deafness and cancer and whatever. It's totally, totally known. But it's experimentation on a long range. Do, do you think that those frequencies and those devices are specifically selected to test on us? Uh, are, are, do, do you think they're changing the species or trying to kill us or change us? Or whatever? Well, at least they're making us very sick. And since the, the goal that I have read uh, of the elite, if I can use that word, is to diminish our population on planet Earth by at least two-thirds, maybe even five billion. So uh, that's very, very can negative. Can you explore that more? I mean, we're facing this new disease which is coming out, the, uh, swine? the swine flu. Oh, that's just rubbish. What, what, I mean, your, that is your, really what, rubbish. Uh, you know, it's not the swine flu that's dangerous. It's the injections because it's uh, supposedly it's not only swine but it is m human virus mixed with swine virus mixed with uh, with bird virus and of course behind the whole thing is to diminish world population because it's it's very toxic and to get milliards and milliards and milliards into the pockets of those who put them out Rumsfeld is, is an owner also in one of the big uh, drug companies. And, and since they want to diminish the population, so they start saying that children and pregnant women are the first ones, eliminate the next generation. So you've been trying to uh, alert certain governments about this? Not governments, but by, I have written uh, information to, to Finland because uh, I don't think it's going to work. because. Um, even if WHO... It has been tried before, in the late 70s? With yes, 76 they had in the States the swine flu, and um, it was stopped, the injections, after three weeks, because so many people died, all got uh, Gillian Barre syndrome, which is, they were, they were, their neurology was destroyed. Uh, so now they're making a little uh, adjustment and doing it the same. And before that, they have also made sure in the states that people don't get compensation for the damage in their health because previously 76 they had to pay big big amounts like you know in the states their compensation is big when when you destroy somebody's health but now they have a law in the states that uh, that um, these these companies are not liable nothing in compensation if the patient is killed or if the patient is sick for life so they have really thought about it. So they can poison us and kill us and get away with it scot-free. That's right. So how but is this happening? How are so many governments allowing this to just happen? Because they're not allowing it yet, because nobody has done anything yet. They are just having a scary program in the mass media. All mass media says, oh, it's going to be terrible. Now it's something, bum, bum, bum. It's a scary, scary, scary propaganda. And people get scared because they don't know. Now, WHO has ordered that, you know, everybody has to be by force injected. Previously, WHO did not have this, this uh, uh, ability to, to tell them to force any government because it was only recommendations. But it was 97, 98, I, I recall, that they, they signed with 194, was it, uh, states above uh, that if there is a pandemia, or, you know, real serious pandemic, so then they give an order. Now, in the beginning already, in the beginning of, of June, WHO said pandemic six, that's the highest. Now, go to any country in the world, people are not sick. There are not millions in swine influenza. So this was just done to force people and prepare the governments to give injections by force. But it's not going to work. I don't think Norway is so going to do it. So do you think it. the figures released by the World Health Organization are actually false? Or of course they are. Of course. Of course. But you have to remember, why do they do this? Always remember who benefits. Who benefits? They have been forced, in my mind, to do this. And by whom? Big Pharma. Big Pharma 
which is, you know, deals with the world population and the world money and all this. It's, it's millions. So what's the ultimate strategy, do you think, that's happening with this? What's their target? What's their intent? The, the target is to get rid of so many people as possible and to get as much money for them as possible. But I think they, they have calculated wrong this time because already in the Bilderberger meeting, the 14th and 15th of May this year, 2009, in Hellas, there was a, almost a split when they were discussing this. And I can well imagine that people normally, you know, attending do not always agree with Mr. Kissinger's plan to eliminate a great deal of world population. And now, for instance, yesterday, the Finnish government made a decision, uh, changed laws, which is very interesting, changed laws that um, swine influenza is not anymore on the list of being a dangerous, serious, um, contaminating disease. And that means that, of course, uh, then people have to pay for themselves. It's a money question, too. But in my mind, of course, this is a legal question for, for the lawyers. But in my mind, if something is not a dangerous, contaminatious disease, you cannot be forced to take an injection, right? So I think they were very, very smart. Uh, also, I just read that um, from the Folk Institute uh, of Health in Norway, that director had said that uh, there has never been... Uh, many meaning to, to force people to take, but they can take an injection, and I hope nobody does, especially not children, especially not pregnant women, and actually nobody.